Hey there, I wanted to show you how uh, to upload a custom font to your HubSpot uh, site. So <clears throat> I have these two uh, guides here open. So the first one is use fonts in HubSpot. And we're going to scroll all the way down to like the last third of the page where they have here, you can see use custom fonts. And this is instructions is going to, this is basically instructions I'm following, but um, yeah, if, if you're confused, you can go to that URL and follow along there. Um, URL is up there. So, <clears throat> uh, the other one that we're using is uh, linked in here somewhere. I think it's this upload. And uh, this is upload files to HubSpot. So, also using these instructions. So, we're going back to our uh, page here and we're going to um, start out by. Uh, so, so, I mean, the way I'm doing is I'm using uh, the Google Web Fonts Helper tool that somebody had created. And uh, here I'm going to go and select um, all the font sizes that I want to get. And uh, this is just Roboto that I'm using. And uh, so down here, first of all, we're going to start, um, we'll copy the CSS. And uh, I'll go ahead and um, I, want to, I want to take that back here and, and paste it into I'm going to open this uh, theme here that I have. So I want to, um, oh, let's see here actually, maybe I wish you'd, uh, and we want to go to marketing, files and templates, and then uh, design tools, I think. Yeah, and then we go down to the, the theme that we're editing, and we'll have the CSS there. Uh, we go. And, and I, I'm going down to theme overrides, which is where I want to. Um, I don't know if this is actually the technically advised place to put it, but it sounds correct. So this is where I've been adding my fonts. I should probably add, so add a little spacer like the other ones have. So um, the way I do it is uh, I add. Actually, I, I copy this whole thing first to uh, to VS Code, so I have a um, I have a code file that where did it go here? I have a theme overrides uh, file, and I have this all saved in Git. That way, I can uh, keep track of everything uh, and not mess up any CSS on the live site accidentally. Um, Gonna add this little comment here, so this way I can just go and, and easily copy paste the whole entire file into um, my code editor, and uh, yeah, that's uh, give me a little indent here. But yeah, basically it it allows me to uh, a little bit more easily edit things. But basically, what we're going to do now is go and get the one that we just copied here. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go down into my um, theme overrides here and add it at the bottom. Uh, I'll give a little comment here so we can know that this is what we're adding. Some more stars or something or hashtags, I think, is what they're using up there. So I'm gonna start there and then we'll go back here and and uh, we're going to go to uh, first first I'll go and download the fonts here, download the uh, font files in this uh, Google Helper, and uh, I'll open that actually in the downloads. And um, this folder is going to contain all the font files we want. So we're going to want to go and upload those uh, via our HubSpot um, uploading uh, functionality or tool or, or whatever we want to call it. So it's going to be down here in uh, marketing website. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's um, marketing files and templates and files. So. We go to files and I'm going into um, 
I already created this folder. You can create one if you want. And um, I don't know, maybe I should have put it inside of a theme, but um, and I should probably put some subfolders actually for these these files too. So I'll do I'll do a subfolder for this one, just for Roboto. The Roboto font, and that's where we can put our our. Uh, let's click into there. Here's where we're going to go and upload all these uh, font files that we just downloaded. So I'm going to click upload files there in the top right, go down to downloads, go in there, and I'm just going to select all of these and uh, have them upload. Cool. And then uh, we can click one here and um, we should get an option. To, here it is, a copy URL to clipboard. Uh, I'm going to copy that URL and that's going to give me the URL. I'm going to want to go back here to my style sheet and uh, let me just comment this first. I'm going to use that, that URL on my style sheet. So I'm actually going to make a new branch for this. So yeah, I like to just, you know, make a comment every time so <clears throat> in case I change something around. But here I'm going to go in and, and uh, I'm just going to paste in the URL here so we can see what it looks like. Um, we got blah, 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 uh, slash font, slash Roboto, slash, and here at the very end is the individual font file name. So these are all, the individual font file names are already included here by that uh, tool that we used. So all we have to do is copy the um, beginning of that path down to slash Roboto slash, and we're going to replace all of these ones where it says um, dot dot slash fonts. We're going to want to replace them with that path. So, um, and before we do it, let's let's go take a look at the site to. Um, I wonder if actually Roboto's default on the site. Probably not, but yeah, let's go check it out. Um, open the site up here. So I'm going to the Chrome Dev Tools here to to try and apply the Roboto font font. And it's probably uh, not going to work because it shouldn't be on the side already, I don't think. Unless it is. Which it actually might be. Um, go to here to compute it and, oh wow, it's already on there. Well, that's embarrassing, but <clears throat> anyway, we'll... Uh, interesting. We'll go and uh, we'll finish this up anyway. So we'll go into... Um, The uh, here, all I, all I'm going to do is is uh, I do uh, Command D and then I copy all these dot dot slash fonts and make sure you don't grab any one wrong ones from some other area of the page. You can see here we, we, it comes back to the top at the end and and that's uh, Roboto font that I just created. So I could just uh, then Control V paste in and it'll replace that um, path for all of them and, I, and then I can just copy the whole thing and uh, come back here to the theme overrides and paste it in. But apparently I'm not going to need to do that because the fonts already uh, exist on the site. But <clears throat> I would uh, just paste it in, publish changes, and then after that you should be able to go to the home page and uh, see that uh, you know uh, working. So you could uh, apply those fonts in your CSS. I, I don't think they'll show up in the HubSpot editor, uh, page editor, drag and drop editor um, as a default font though. Maybe there's another way to do that, but uh, this is how you can at least use um, fonts for uh, CSS in your HubSpot site.